Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. In this video, I'm going to show you how to geo reference an image file using QGIS. I'm using version 3.28. I need to upgrade. I'm a couple releases behind now, so that's on my list of stuff to do. Anyways, QGIS has this super awesome geo referencing tool. Very, very handy. The folks that, that work on QGIS do a great job. Um, and I just I'm always amazed by what this tool is capable of so kudos to all those folks that contribute uh, to the code base and uh, do other things to help QGIS and uh, I hope uh, one day to be able to also donate or have my company donate some development effort to QGIS because it is a super awesome tool okay so before you geo reference your image you need a few things you need a copy of the image file digitally. You need at least two, preferably three coordinates of points that you can easily identify in the photo that are in your target coordinate system. That's I think that's it. I think those are the two things you need. So I have a map. Let me show it to you. So this is a Stanislaus National Forest map. It's a little older. I don't know why you can't get these anymore um, digitally. Um, you can get them through the Avenza app, but you can't get them standalone as a PDF, which really sucks. Uh, but I managed to find one on the internet. <laughs> um, I managed to find one on the internet. That, that's a super bummer. Uh, if you know where you can get these Forest Service maps in digital format without having to go through the Avenza mm -hmm. store, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can you can put that in the comments for this video on YouTube. But anyways, that, uh, there's a, a 4x4 off-road uh, group that had this PDF available, uh, which I was very grateful for. So I want to get this geo-reference. This right now is just a PDF with no, it's just a scan. There's no geo geo-reference information. So I'm using Nitro, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, doesn't really matter what tool you use, but if you want to, if you want to get a PDF, you need to convert it to an image uh, before you geo-reference it. So for those folks in my shop, if you come over here to convert, it has a two image tool in Nitro that you can use because I wanted it. I didn't want to screenshot this. I wanted to get it out full resolution and it ended up being about a uh, 42 megabyte uh, image. So I got it with pretty good resolution. So this is the, the image that we're going to geo-reference geo and I already went into Nitro Pro and converted it to an image. I've got QGIS open here. It's just a blank project, but I do have it set to my target coordinate system. And then what I have over here in my text editor is just the northing and easting in California State Plain Zone 3. That's my coordinate system of a couple points that I could easily identify. So one was uh, the, the middle of the dam at Salt Springs Reservoir, and the other was the middle of the bridge on the Don Pedro Reservoir. It's where Highway 120 goes over the bridge. And I just grabbed those out of Google Earth. So you can see I've got a couple place marks there. Once you create a place mark, you can just right click and pull up your properties and you'll get the lat long in degrees, minutes, seconds. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get those to stay plain? I just use the uh, cool online tool from NGS, which I will show you. So it's called NCAT, the coordinate conversion and transformation tool. And it actually lets you put, you can put in a lat long in uh, decimal degrees or degrees, minutes, seconds, and it'll give you your state plane coordinates. You can pick your zone or it'll auto find the zone. And you can also, you, you can skip the whole Google Earth part and just use this map here and drag your cursor and it'll automatically update. So super handy tool. Uh, so check that out. There's the URL. Kudos to the folks at NGS for making that tool available for everybody. Uh, you could also do this in Trimble Business Center, but I wanted to show a tool that was freely available. All right, so just a real quick, uh, we're gonna grab um, one more coordinate. We just wanna check coordinate because we're surveyors always check stuff, right? Even though this is a GIS grade conversion here. So I am going to go to Beardsley Lake, which is where my project is at. And we wanna go down to the dam at Beardsley. So here's Beardsley Lake. So we're just going to grab something kind of in the center of the dam there. And we'll hit submit. 
So this is going to give us the northing and easting for the center of the dam, and we're just going to use this as a check. Okay, so this is uh, Beards. It's actually a reservoir, Beards of the Reservoir. Can't remember if they call it a lake or a reservoir. So when we're done, we're just going to check in QGIS and make sure we get roughly close to this value, which you can see is shown to an unreasonable amount of precision. I'm just going to get rid of these commas here. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for the easting. Okay, so now I have three points. I'm only going to use two of them for the actual georeferencing, and then we've got a third as a check. But you know, depending on how accurate you want this to be, you might you might get um, you know somewhere between four and six of these points. Okay, so we've got what we need now to do actually do the conversion in QGIS. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to to QGIS, QGIS, and I'm going to go to Layer. The tool you want is called GeoReferencer, so I'll click that. It pops up in a new window. <clears throat> and what we want to do, you want to go in and set, hit the little gear here because you want to set up your transformation settings. So you want to uh, pick your coordinate system, and they've got all kinds of different fancy math things you can do here. I just want the linear transformation. That's like a translate, rotate, and CAD for my CAD folks. And then you have to pick an output file. So I've got mine set up there to output just to my downloads folder. So I'll save that. Yes, I want to replace it. Um, you can choose your resampling method. I'm just going to go linear. I'm not going to do any compression. Um, I'm not going to load my points. Save my GCP points. I will load it in the project when I'm done. Um, I don't think I need the report. You know what? Just for... Just for kicks, let's let's generate the report here and see what happens. I'm, I've never done that, so I don't know what you get. Okay, so we've got our settings. So the next thing we want to do is we want to open our image, and I'm just going to drag and drop that. So here's the image that I got from the PDF. And then right here, this add a GCP add point here, it's, this tool's automatically open. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find our two points. So the first one is on the on the bridge here, 120 bridge. So I'm just going to click that and then tell it, let me put in zone 3 coordinates. So then we'll come back to our text editor. And let's see, this is the bridge. So I'm going to just copy in my northing and easting here. I know this is taking forever, so you guys might have to watch this video sped ahead. Okay, so when we get that done, we'll just hit OK. It puts that little dot in, and we can come up and do the second one. Now, you'll notice I purposely tried to pick points that were at the at the corners of my map as far apart as I could. Um, you know, you don't want to come in here and pick a point here and a point here on a map this big, or you're going to get a lot of distortion at the edges. So I, I picked two points that were reasonably far apart on my map. So the other one was just the, the uh, center of the dam here at Salt Springs Reservoir. Now I'm not going to put in that third point. Oh, I messed that up because we are going to use that as the check. I'm thinking like a surveyor. This is not northern easting order. It's easting northern order, which means this I did backwards. So we got to fix that one. Sorry guys, I wasn't paying attention to that. Thinking like a surveyor, as I often do. So this is easting first, not, not northing first. So surveyors, beware. Alright, obviously the rest of the world just needs to switch to what surveyors do. Okay. Alright, when you get that done, you can go ahead and hit your start georeferencing tool and it says hey bonehead I couldn't create the file I wanted so I'm gonna just try and delete that file and let me try it again yeah something's up this never works when you when you're trying to do the video right so let me do CSPC zone 3 alright let me try this one more time 
All right, so it's gonna work this time. So it's geo-referencing, and then it's actually gonna open when it's done into, uh, if you close this, you'll see it in QGIS. So now it's in QGIS. And so if we did this right, um, we will actually be able to overlay information on here. Let's open up that report it gives us, guys. We'll take a look at that. All right, so it gives you your translation parameters here. All right, so I don't know if this worked or not. We're about to find out. So let's go ahead. We've got a layer we can add here. So let's add a, a quick vector layer. And we'll see if our map's in the right spot. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's load this uh, PLSS sections layer. Okay, so there's my section layer and we can actually come into the property. So good news, it looks like we did a pretty good job in our, pretty good job on our geo reference, it looks like. So I'm just gonna modify this fill, uh, make it, a little bit transparent um, and you can see uh, that I got pretty stinking close to uh, what I wanted so I think this this map is in the right uh, location so that's super cool now you can see you can see here it's off a little bit from the BLM data right you can see this kind of this jog right here is this jog right here so it might be off just a little bit there so here's section 36 so that's probably this section right here so it looks like it might be shifted a little uh, where's my project at here's my project So there is a little bit of a shift here. Um, so what, what you might do in that case is add your third point. Um, so I might try this again with the third point and see if it fits a little better, but you guys can see the basic process that you go through. A super cool tool in QGIS that will allow you to geo-reference your imagery, and uh, then you can use it as a, a background layer in your QGIS project.